Hi, Eric Mercia here with another episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about a little piece of equipment that all of us uh, more than likely have either in your home or your business, um, and we very rarely do anything with it, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, so by following a few simple steps, um, you'll have the ability to make sure your device is always up to date, you're getting the latest um, speeds, and that it's refreshed on a recurring basis, which is generally recommended by uh, whoever it is that's providing your internet service. Um, so right here, I have a picture of a very basic uh, cable modem that you would see if you are a Spectrum or Time Warner uh, client. Um, usually the front of it looks similar to this. It'll say Surfboard or Motorola or it may say Spectrum on it. Um, the back of this guy uh, looks a little something like this. It'll have a few ports that look like really big uh, telephone uh, ports more than anything else. There will be a, a round connector on it where the traditional cable connection will feed in and then there will be a little power outlet or uh, yeah, power outlet for the power adapter down here. Um, if you have AT&T, you may see something that looks a little bit like this. Um, their stuff usually, probably almost always has the uh, AT&T logo on it. In the back, uh, as you can tell, looks very similar to the cable modem. It has a few of those oversized telephone port adapters, that's for the network. Um, it'll usually have one that's in a different color or has a different designation, um, and that's because AT&T does not use cable, um, like a cable modem. Um, they use an, uh, another uh, large looking uh, telephone adapter that comes in from the, usually from the wall, um, and then it has a little power outlet. And one of the simplest things that you can do with either of these devices um, put it on your calendar, uh, you know, write it down somewhere, set a, a reminder. Uh, once a month, uh, just go through, pull the power adapter from it. Uh, if you have an AT&T modem, it'll usually be at the very bottom. I believe the same is true, yep, on the um, Spectrum equipment. Just find that device, pull the power adapter on it, let it sit without power for, you know, one, maybe two minutes, plug it back in. Um, that'll ensure that it refreshes the device, uh, any updates that may have been pending get pushed through. Um, if the uh, internet service provider has upgraded speeds and things like that, that'll also get pushed through uh, as well. And it's just a good practice. It's kind of like restarting your computer. So that's today's tech tip. Look forward to talking to you again next week.